Um, Tyler, when we're after solve, what is the first thing we, we always think of? Setting it's zero. equal to zero, right? I mean, that's one of like the main important things is setting equal to zero. However, in this case, you guys can see we don't necessarily have to set this. Well, this is an equation, so we are going to want to make an equation set equal to zero. OK, but now what, there's something different that's about this problem. How many x's do we actually have here? Or how many x's are displayed? Just one, right? Even though that is x to the third power, and if you expanded that, you would have a lot more x's to show. But in this current problem, there's only at one x written there. So is it possible just to solve for one x? Yes, using inverse operations. So we did problems like this for quadratics. I would have you guys do a problem like that again, but we're kind of run out of time. I want to give you guys time to take your quiz. So all you guys need to do is go back to algebra 1. Apply your inverse operations and your reverse order of operations. First thing we want to do is undo addition and subtraction. So I will add a 3 to both sides. Then the next thing I want to do is undo multiplication. So I'll divide by 2. Now, to get rid of that cubing, I need to take the cube root. I do not know what the cube root is 3 halves, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, the cube root is not like the even root, where when you introduce it, you have to do plus or minus, because this could only be positive. Or if it was negative, it could only be a negative number. So you don't have to do plus or minus. Then I just got to get rid of the 1. So my solutions are x equals the cube root of 3 halves minus 1. Okay. 